Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Cudlow. I'm Larry Cudlow. So I begin with a quote, and I quote, if they'll not help, if these governors won't help us beat the pandemic, I'll use my power as president to get them out of the way. Don't take it from me, folks. Take a listen to the president himself, who's thumbing his nose at our nation's governors, and after he thumbs his nose at them, he's putting his finger in their eye. Federalism could be dead. Don't take it from me. Here's President Biden. If they'll not help, if these governors won't help us beat the pandemic, I'll use my power as president to get them out of the way. That's really awesome. It's funny. Everybody used to criticize President Trump for being so authoritarian. Trump never did anything like this. In fact, Trump loved to work with governors, and Trump loved to work with the private sector, the free enterprise companies. But alas, as we know, President Biden caused a firestorm yesterday by announcing his mandate. Oops, sorry. It's a requirement, not a mandate. Isn't it? Really? Okay, we'll have to debate that. This is a requirement mandate on private sector companies with over 100 employees that their workforces must be vaccinated, must be vaccinated, or at least submit to a weekly test. Federal workers have it even worse. They have to get vaxxed, and there's no testing carve-out. But the crux of the matter, as we will discuss with Georgia Governor Brian Kemp in just a moment, is the president engaging in executive overreach and really undermining the constitutional principle of federalism, a.k.a. the Tenth Amendment. Let me read you the Tenth Amendment briefly. The powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states, respectively, or to the people. That or to the people is very important. Because now I'm going to say, in addition, the federal government does not have police powers to simply order private enterprise companies to do stuff. This is the anti-freedom part that I find so troubling about the president's declarations yesterday. This is federal statism acting unilaterally with no restraints to literally order private firms to follow the government's dictate. Uh-uh. This is America. You can't do that. Now, we can argue about interpreting interstate commerce laws till we're blue in the face. But basically, without an act of Congress, without a law, presidents just can't order companies around. That's what really troubles me. It's bad enough Biden wants to tax these companies to death and regulate them and give them so much uh, many permanent entitlements to discourage work and encourage stay, uh, stay at home. That's bad enough. Of course, a whole lot of people who have already had COVID have natural immunity, which is really the strongest protection of all, and they may not want to get vaccinated. And using the science, they don't need to get vaccinated. Their natural immunity from prior COVID cases is stronger than the vax. Now, with the most delicious irony this evening, it just so happens that at 9.30 a.m. this morning, in a Walgreens on the Upper East Side of New York, I got my third Pfizer vaccine. I consulted with my doctor, and I went ahead and did it. I spoke to my doctor a couple days ago. He insisted that I get the third shot. I'm afraid I did not consult with President Biden. And, by the way, I had scheduled the vaccination before Mr. Biden's speech yesterday. So there. I did it on my own free will and my own free choice, which I think is how most Americans really want to live. They can make their own decisions without being policed or forced or required at penalty of law and financial fines to follow the dictates of a bunch of central planners in Washington, D.C. Doesn't work for me.